Hello there, my name is Luto Siame and welcome to my YouTube channel. Bienvenue, bienvenidos and moisen mukai. Today's video, we're talking about dividends and stocks for 2022. We also touched something about bonds, so buckle up and enjoy the ride. So my task today is very easy. We're looking at the stocks and dividends that performed well in 2022 both on the new york stock exchange and the lusaka stock exchange so you'll be finding out how much money uh you need to invest into a certain share or basically the share price and how much money was given out as profits because today we're not really going deep in explaining what a share is what a dividend is but what i want you to simply know is a share is simply owning a percentage of a business and a dividend is the profit that you get for investing in that business so with that i feel like we can jump straight into today's video whether you are at a place where you feel like you have money that you can invest into shares or into a business or you're not financial education is still the most important thing that you can get because if you don't have financial education regardless of the money that comes into your bank account into your mobile money that money will just come and your bank account will be like a garage where it just comes packs and it goes but if you have financial education you'll be making the most of the money that comes your way. So that's what we're learning today. We're learning about investing in shares. What shares can you invest in? That if you pack your money there, it will make you money in the long term. So the first one is a company called Energy Transfer. So Energy Transfer is an American company engaged in natural gas and propane pipeline transport. So the share price of uh, Energy Transfer goes around 11.96 dollars it fluctuates and the dividend that it gave out this year was one dollar six cents so you buy it for eleven dollars and the dividend was one dollar six cents so the, the main difference with companies that you find on the new york stock exchange compared to the ones that you find even on the zambian stock exchanges that for them they give out dividends every quarter so it means every three months they give out money. It might not be much, but they give out money every three months. That's what you should mean. So this one dollar six cents that we're talking about, it simply means it's it's one dollar six cents divided by four. Now at the end of the year, when you add those or you tally them together, you find that the dividend is one dollar six cents. The second company is AT and T, which is a communications holding company. AT and T provides wireless and data communications internet access and messaging the share price is 18.98 dollars it fluctuates around that rate as well and the dividend it gave out this year was one dollar 11 cents so it cut back from giving last year the dividend the total dividend was, that was given was around two dollars but this year they decided to invest back part of that money into their business so they can boost their trade and boost their earnings so the dividend that was given out was one dollar 11 cents that company that caught my eye for 2022 on the new york stock exchange is health big properties so health big properties is a real estate investment trust that invests in assets serving the healthcare industry in the united states so it goes for a share price of 24.4 dollars and the dividend it gave out this this year was one dollar 20 cents so 24.4 and the dividend was $1.20. So there's a company called Medifast. So Medifast is an American nutrition and weight loss company. The share price of Medifast is $118.45 and the dividend was $6.64. Another company we can look at is ABV Inc. So ABV Inc. researches and develops pharmaceutical products. The share price of AB, ABV Inc. is, I hope I'm pronouncing this right by the way, is $152.16 and the dividend that it gave out was $5.64. So you notice that usually when the price is slightly, is higher, even the dividend that would be given would be a bit more attractive compared to those that are low. You might be wondering, all the stocks we've talked about so far, maybe you don't even know any of them. So how about the common companies that we all know the likes of netflix facebook um, google or alphabet how much did they give out as dividends this past year so you'd be shocked to find out that companies such as netflix facebook google and tesla 
or don't give out dividends. So how you make money from such companies is there's something called capital gain. So when you buy a share, for example, you buy it at $50 and then uh, three months down the line, that company's share price moves from $50 to about $150. That gain of $100 is what we call a capital gain. So how you make profits from such companies that don't give dividends is from capital gains. You can buy them when they're low, and when, they, when the share price goes up, you sell them. And then sometimes, you can, it can just be up to you if you want to keep holding on to them and keep buying. You buy whenever they go low and hold them for as long as you want. And when you feel like you want to sell them, whether they've gone up or down, you can sell them. But the, the thing is, such companies don't give out dividends. The way you maximize your profits with them is through capital gains. So you buy when it's low, when it goes up, you sell. Or sometimes you just buy because it's a famous company and yeah, eventually it's going to keep going higher and higher. Okay, so bringing it back home, the shares and companies that did well in 2022 and those that give out dividends. So far we have Airtel which is a smartphone network, it uses telecommunications, just like AT&T provides internet, communication, and messaging services. So, <clears throat> Airtel had a share price of 17.25, and it gave out a dividend, it actually gave out a dividend of uh, three quarter a share in 2022. So for every share that someone owns, for or rather for every 17.25 that someone invested into Airtel, they got a three-quarter bonus on top. And on top of that, they still have their shares, so they can still sell those shares and get the money that they invested in those shares. So Airtel was selling for 17.25 and gave out a dividend or dividends of three-quarter per share to the people who keep our money. Standard Chartered Bank. So Standard Chartered Bank had, has a share price of one quarter turning away, 1.1 quarter in other words. So they give out a dividend of 0 0.21 quarter per share. It's, it's, yeah, it does sound pretty low, but then even the share price is low. So if you own like, if you own a thousand shares in a company like Standard Chartered, you are going to get something like 200 back when they give out dividends. You share, I feel like shares are the best platform where you just invest like a huge amount and leave it there. If you are going to go, if that's your investment strategy, you are better off investing in bonds because for bonds at least every six months you'll be given a coupon rate which is like the percentage of that money. Let's say you invest a thousand dollars or ten thousand kwacha, we say ten thousand kwacha. Then every six months, let's say the, the rate that you went for was 10%. And then every six months they give you back maybe a thousand kwacha. Another six months a thousand kwacha. Then at the end of that period, let's say if you chose a maturity period of 15 years, they now give you back that uh, uh, 10,000 that you invested in the beginning, plus those six, those 1,000 you've been getting every six months. So if you're going to have like a huge a lump sum of money that you want to invest once, I feel like bonds are a better market to invest in. But then for shares, it needs you to be a bit more consistent. Like if you can manage every month or every two months, three months, it needs to be consistent, is what I'm saying. Whereas bonds, you can do even a one-time investment. As long as your investment is, is a huge amount, you are, you are going to be able to reap your benefits. Another strategy that you can actually use is if you have the money, invest it in bonds. Then when the coupon comes, then that coupon that comes is what you now use to invest in shares. So all those are strategies that someone can use. It's up to you to go for which one you feel best works for you. You need to study yourself, know where you are, and uh, gauge yourself and see what works best for you. The last company that we're looking at is Copper Belt Energy Corporation. So it's a company that I, th it, I think it produces, I'm not really sure if it also distributes electricity, but I know it does produce electricity and it sells it to the mines and it also sells to Zesco. So CEC uh, goes for a share price of four quarter, uh, four quarter per share, and the dividend that was given out this past year was 0 0.4995 per share. So if we round it off, it's like 0 0.5 quarter per share. 0.5 quarter per share so yeah that's it uh, with regards to which companies 
uh, gave out dividends this year on the Lusaka Stock Exchange, how much the share prices were and how much dividends they gave out. We also looked at the New York Stock Exchange. So if you still have questions or things that you don't understand, please, please feel free to ask. But then if these things are things that have been shared in previous videos, I would advise you to first go back to those previous videos, watch them. And if you still find that your questions haven't been answered, like, then you can still come through and ask your questions. Yeah, so thank you for your time and let's get investing. Let's have, let's start making plans for 2023 and let's have smart money. Let's not just have money coming to our bank accounts, into our mobile money, then just like a garage where huge amounts come through and they leave. But let's have financial education, financial literacy, so that when money comes, we make plans even before the money comes and then we invest that money. If you don't have money, keep learning keep gaining that financial uh, literacy and eventually when the money comes or the money does show up or when you think of ways to innovate and come up with that money you will at least know the channels where to direct that money so enjoy the rest of the day and thank you very much for your time it really means a lot if you like this video feel free to share it and like the video lights out